Last time we covered user defined data types. Since the last video was starting to get rather lengthy, I decided to continue file organization in this video. Let's begin by acknowledging the fact that file organization and file access are two separate terms. Now pay attention to this statement. A file is first organized and then accessed according to its file organization. We can define file access as the method used to physically find a record in the file. You must also be aware that to store data there are only two file types. A text file which contains data stored according to a defined character code and a binary file which in general is a file designed for storing data to be used by a computer program. Now let's move to file organization. There are three types of file organizations, serial, sequential, and direct. First, let's look at serial organization. Serial file organization is a method of file organization in which records of data are physically stored in a file one after another in the order they were added to the file. To summarize, we can say that records are stored in a chronological order and one of the applications for serial file organization is that this method is usually used for creating transaction files. Now let's list a few advantages. With serial file organization, there is no need to re resort data when adding new records. Small files require less processing in serial organization and new records can easily be appended. It is also suited to batch processing. Now let's look at sequential file organization. This is a method of file organization in which records of data are physically stored in a file one after another in a given order, in order of their key fields. Advantages of sequential file organization include their very simple file design. It is very efficient when most of the records must be processed. Examples include payrolls and utility bills. They are very efficient if the data has a natural order and can be stored in an inexpensive device like a magnetic tape. They are also suited to batch processing. However, some of their disadvantages include that an entire file must be processed if a single record is to be searched, transactions must be sorted before processing, and the overall processing is slow. Moving on to the last type of file organization, direct or random file organization as it is called, is a method of file organization in which records of data are physically stored in a file in any available position. The location of any record in the file is decided by a hashing algorithm on the key field of a record. A hashing algorithm is a mathematical formula used to perform a calculation on the key field of the record. The result of the calculation gives the address where the record should be found. Its advantages include that it is used when fast access of data is required and there is no need to search through every record to file a single record. It is suited to real-time processing. I wouldn't worry a lot about uh, hashing algorithms at the moment as it is also covered in Unit 21. But um, basically, in the hashing algorithm, the key field is hashed. This gives you a home location. And if the home location is free, then you insert the record at this location. Otherwise, you use the overflow method to find a free location to store that data. And if there is no free location found, then the file is full and therefore that record cannot be stored. So now let's look at file access methods. And believe me, this is a lot easier. Um, it's easier because of the way we have uh, just written our three file organizations, right? Um, serial, sequential, and direct. So there are only two file access methods, sequential file access and direct file access. In sequential file access, it is a method in which records are searched one after another from the physical start of the file until the record required is found. And in direct access, it is a method of file access in which a record can be 
physically found in a file without reading other records okay so um, serial and sequential file organization can make use of sequential file access and sequential and direct file organization make use of direct file access I would not worry too much if um, you might find this a little confusing because of the way it is written I have made some really brilliant notes um, that are based completely from past papers and all those answers uh, they are on my website alevelsos.com and if you're interested I would really suggest going there and especially file file organization going through those notes and it would just be over in a few minutes and you would completely understand the whole thing okay so see you later